Lighting is important when it comes to filming your videos. Light can make your videos look more polished and high quality. Bad lighting will destroy the quality of your footage. Hi there, Pagan here. And in this video, we're going to talk about lighting. I thought long and hard about what type of lighting video this should be about. And I decided to focus on more of a lazy slash cheap way to set up lighting. Basically, I'm going to show you what I use for lighting. You've heard of three point lighting, right? I'm not going to do that here because it's time consuming and I don't have an official uh, studio. So those lights just stay buried downstairs in the closet. I like to film at my desk, which is in the corner of my game room. So I only use two sources of light, the natural light that comes from the window or my ring light. Let's start with natural light. It's cheap because it's free and it's easy to set up because there's no setup and there's nothing to take down. The only bad thing about natural light is you have to worry about time and weather. I try to film on sunny days at around 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. or from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. because that's the best time that the light stays consistent. The trick to using natural light is the light has to be in front of you. If the light is on the side or behind you, it can cast a lot of shadow. It's kind of like if you're taking a selfie, you usually take it while you're facing like the light or the sunlight. Well, I hope you're facing the light if you're taking selfies. So I'm going to show you some examples of, of lighting. So this will be the natural light. This is me not facing the window where the natural light is. You see how one part of the footage is bright and the other part is dark. Ignore the background, it's kind of dirty. <laughs> but this is me facing natural light. So you see how I'm lit up? It's still bright in front of me. So the second option is a ring light. I love this ring light. I think it's by Newer. I'll go ahead and link it down in my description box. This ring light is easy to set up and it's not in my way, so I just like to leave it up next to my desk. Just like with natural light, you have to sit facing the light. What's cool about this ring light is you can change the settings for how bright you want it. You have to be careful because if you turn it up all the way, the light can be a little harsh and it can also create shadows. So this is me sitting in front of the ring light. This is the brightest setting of the ring light. If you look behind me, you'll see shadows. Well, you'll see, yeah, you'll see some shadows or you'll see my shadow actually. So this is the brightest setting on, on the ring light. You see, it's too bright on my skin. It's really harsh. For my lighting setup, I actually like to use a combination of natural light and the ring light. It's convenient to film whenever I want to, and I'm not dependent too much on the weather, like how bright or cloudy it is outside. What type of lighting do you like to use in your videos? Or maybe whenever you're taking selfies. Either way, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, bye.